Ahoy mates! Hi! Welcome aboard Royal Caribbean's Anthem of the Seas. I'm going to show you something a little special yeah. right now. So we've already done our room tour, which is a standard interior with virtual balcony, like you can see behind us there. Mm -hmm. So we'll be sure to link to that. You want to check that one out. But this, this is the studio version of that room, interior with virtual balcony. What does studio mean? Studio means uno, one, only one person. You can only book one person into this type of stateroom. Oh, I can fit two. No. Nope. One. Only one. So that's cool because normally on a cruise ship, if you're a solo traveler, you, you know, cruises are based on double occupancy. So you would have to pay like an additional supplement to cover that yeah. if you got a room by yourself. So this is a nice option for the solo traveler because you don't have to pay an additional supplement. You can just get this nice little room all to yourself. Yeah. Really cool option. And they have it with the virtual balcony on this ship as well as a regular balcony. Some of the other ones have, other ships have different things. They're not available on every ship. So mm -hmm. you want to talk to your travel agent or someone else and ask them about that. But we're going to show you here on Anthem of the Seas the virtual balcony version of the studio interior. So come along as we show you around. It's going to be quick because it's a small room. Hey, bitty. <laughs> Deck 13, room 630. You actually have to come through this door first because there's two rooms here and then into the 630 itself. So this is, wow, <laughs> this is cool. It's very small, but it's cool. Well, it's a, it's a double bed. It's not, I was thinking it was going to be like a twin. That's cool. That's like a good size. So this is the, of course, for single occupancy, just mm -hmm. one, one passenger yeah. in this room. So it's going to be very small, but it's only for one, so I mean, it, it makes sense. I think it would have everything you need. So right when you come in, it's going to be the standard stuff. You have the mustard drill station, emergency information, the magnet uh, to tell the stateroom attendant you put this on the outside of the door if you want them to make up the room or leave you alone. You can do both of those as well. Peephole with a cover on the door too. Right when you come in the slot for you to put your CPAS card that'll operate all the electronics in the room. This switch is the master lighting. This switch is the above bed lighting right there. Nice soft like pleather headboard. Like Chell said, pretty big bed there. That's that's a good size. I mean for one person, that's great. Huge. Nice cubby with a, oh, with a standard plug. outlet. Yeah, plug by the bed. Good that's to see. Nice. And then up above. Overhead storage. Oh, extra, extra linens. Additional storage space there. Very cool. Very nice. And closes like that now of course this is the virtual balcony so that's what the stateroom is they do have other studios on um, that are standard like regular real balconies right um this one is the virtual balcony so a live feed outside of the ship video and sound there's a remote for it you point right up there to the sensor and it'll change all that the curtains can close and open or you can just turn it off if you don't want to have the light or the sound coming in so lots of options with that and then right beside the door there is the full length mirror so always good for that as well as a makeup mirror that's interesting ah for the uh i think because there's a light there's not room to have like a vanity mirror because oh this is you're right the vanity with that yeah right here. so since there's not room to have a vanity mirror you get a little makeup mirror that makes sense that makes sense so then like chelsea said the stool there trash can and then just your tiny little desk area with your tv remote and then this is the remote for the virtual balcony you have your european plug two standard uh, american plugs there as well as two usb ports so that's nice phone mounted to the wall with a digital video display so that's really cool and then your tv here now the one thing i will say is the tv much like in our stateroom is affixed to that position and with the bed being over here it's kind of a kind of an odd angle it would be nice if it swiveled or oh there it goes it was locked in it was locked in so as i say that look at look at me talking before i know so you'll see this little pin here was into that so it does pop out and then point towards the bed Neat. so that's really nice that's a nice feature to have then down below we have a additional countertop desk space drawer with the hair dryer and the information and then the fridge that has the lock which is kind of funny still not quite sure about that this one actually does have a few little shelves in it turning around here next to the virtual balcony we do have the wardrobe cubby space safe this safe is not big enough for a laptop but maybe like a small ipad of course wallet jewelry valuables things like that lots of hanging space additional uh counter kind of like counter space there you can put some things on and then a big stand-up space that goes all the way up to the hanging rack information on how to operate the safe 
right there inside the door. And then when we turn, we have a hanging rod here. We have a digital thermostat right here to control the temperature of the room. And then this is the room to the bathroom, or the sorry, the door to the bathroom with the light for the bathroom, so that's nice. Kind of a big step up there, so you wanna watch as you step in, but look, nice. This is like a full-size bathroom. This is the same size as our standard interior with a virtual balcony so no smaller in the bathroom same exact setup with the toilet brush trash can towels you have your three shelves there with your drinking glasses uh, outlet for a razor right there light up above mirror sink vanity countertop with the backsplash paper additional towels trash can down below and then when we turn here we have our shower door that does open both ways footrest right there down below Additional hanging rod inside the shower, has a light and a fan up above, handle if you need to hold on, a soap dish here, two-in-one hair and body wash there, and then the power control, flow control, as well as the temperature. This does remove off, you can grab it and move it wherever you need it, as well as adjust. So you can just flip this and it'll go up or down for whatever height you need. So lots and lots and lots of room in this shower very nice feature especially for just one person it would be more than plenty so yes a very small space but a very cool one one that would should work well for just one passenger all right guys that was it told you it'd be quick yeah but small but very nice it's very efficient like a lot of like space saving stuff it makes sense and they they did it smartly yes we could if we were allowed you and i could be fine in a space like this. Yeah, I mean, we don't pack a lot, so that, like that wouldn't be a big deal. And I mean, we're we're a, we don't need like our space. Right. But um, but yeah, we're not allowed to though. So any solo traveler though, I would highly recommend this. Like I said, the bathroom was the same size as our bathroom, so no yeah. smaller in there. Just a little bit smaller casual uh common space that's it yeah but a, a but great size bed a great for, size bed for one person virtual yeah. balcony tv all the same features you would have in a regular room so lots of fun stuff there hey if you have any questions about this room or anything else you've seen please leave a comment down below or if you're interested in booking one of these studio rooms on board or any other royal caribbean type of cabin or ship or anything like that we are travel agents and we love to make that happen. Our services are always complimentary and free, so please feel free to reach out via the travel agent information at the end of this video. We hope to hear from you either way. So we hope you've enjoyed this tour of this room. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos in the Anthem of the Seas playlist. So we have a lot of stuff coming up. 11 night journey. So we'll be sure to show you everything we can on board. We hope we'll see you around in those other videos. Until next time, we'll sign off as always. Happy, Happy travels! travels from a one-person room.